What's up guys? Royale with Cheese here and welcome to a special video. Uh, this is Ancestors. I know a lot of people have been playing it. A lot of people have been seeing it. Actually, Jenny, my fiance, who you've probably seen in some of our streams or in my Minecraft videos. She'll be in the ARC videos probably pretty soon. She has been streaming Ancestors over on Twitch and we thought it'd be fun if she started a video series over here. So Jenny's gonna show you guys how to get started in Ancestors. Uh, this is gonna be her third start of a playthrough. Let's call it the second one. <laughs> Let's ignore the first one, please. So if you guys like this video, please do us a huge favor and smash that like button. Be nice to Jenny, she's new. First YouTube video ever by herself. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. All right, Jenny, take it away. All right, guys. I'm playing this on an Xbox controller, which I'm still not comfortable with. Just saying that in advance. That's my excuse for everything now. Uh, we're using the first save slot because that was my first playthrough that, that I kind of messed up. Um, I can't type. Let me type. I'm going to call the lineage the cheaple again. Uh, we... Do want the full tutorial? It doesn't really matter whether you choose male or female here. I'm not sure why they give you the option because you can just switch between the uh, the apes. I've been yelled at for uh, for that today. Uh, they're called apes, not monkeys. And yeah, we'll just start the game. The weird spinny deal. I'm still not sure what that is. Looks like a hairy I eyeball. I'm, I'm not sure what it's... I, I think it might be like brain cells, maybe. Like, you know, connecting to each other. I'm gonna go but with hairy eyeball. You look like a hairy eyeball. That hurts. I mean, you know. So this game is actually, um, in my experience so far, fairly close to how uh, evolution is supposed to have happened. Um... Yeah. Uh, get some opening credits here. People involved in the no game. No way! Simon Lacoste was involved in this? Yeah, he really was. What? Uh-huh. I didn't believe it myself. The fun part is coming up in a second. The game actually tells you that if you're playing this for the first time, you have no idea what you're doing. Well, good luck, because we're not going to help you. So yeah, we we relive the the evolution here uh, and start out as the apes and just try to evolve, learn new abilities, uh, get smarter, grow our tribe. Yeah, good luck. We won't help you much. That is absolutely true. The question on everybody's mind, I'm sure. Does ape kill ape? No. I might kill an ape, but ape don't kill ape. Some weird floaty water stuff. It doesn't, to me that doesn't look like water really. No, I thought that was a galaxy. Or yeah, that's kind of what it looked like. We start out in Africa. 10 million years ago. And we already see like all kinds of fun critters that we're gonna encounter. That might or might not eat us at some point. Those are evil. I'm saying that in advance. fishy. But yeah, all of these creatures, especially the ones with a lot of feet, you're gonna encounter in the in the jungle, which 
makes the entire experience more fun. The jaguars actually eat alligators or crocodiles? That's not a jaguar. What was it? That's kind of like more like a like a mountain lion kind of thing. That looked nothing like a mountain lion. Well, you're playing 10 million years ago. I don't think jaguars were a thing back then. So that's the, the monkey colony, tribe, family uh, you're playing with, you're starting with. Get our first view at what is our first base location, maybe, I guess. Settlement. An RG? That is not an RG. Oh god! The game starts out very happy and bright. Makes you excited for the future. So yeah, we start out as the baby monkey. Don't really know a lot of things. We're lost and scared in the jungle. And if we hit Y, we can identify uh, certain... Like those little squares and the... the what are they called? Diamonds? Diamonds, yes, that one. Those uh, we can identify with our senses. Which the baby monkey doesn't really have yet though. Um, Right now, we're just trying to hide and get back to somewhere close to our settlement. Now, what is all the scary faces that are popping up? The scary faces you'll see a lot more in the game. Um, that's basically just when your monkey is scared and doesn't know its surroundings. Uh, later on, you'll be able to conquer your fear, is what it's called, and actually um, figure out uh what that area is and make those scary faces and noises go away but right now what we're trying to get to is this which is a hiding spot which is right here this thing so if you move up to it it gives you the option to hide you just hit the a button and the baby monkey crawls in there and just Sits in there all scared and alone. And now we're playing as an adult in our colony. And our objective is to find the lost child. You can actually hear him scream in the background. So we're trying to locate him. Um, we actually on the left you can see uh, the options we have. Intimidate, which is usually just used when you encounter enemies. Like uh, any kind of predator. Um, then we can lie down because we're uh, in our settlement. We can go lie down and sleep it off. Um, you have senses, which are at this point hearing, smelling, and your intelligence again, which gives you the option to identify all kinds of things. Um, and we can call our tribe, which we don't really need right now. What's easiest to use here is first start with the senses, so hit X, and start looking for the sounds. You see those circles? That's, those are uh, noises that are actually close to you that you can identify if you focus on them, which you do by holding down the right button which is in this case the B button. For example, that tells you that's a monkey of your colony. But we are looking for the baby, which is down here in this direction. Now when that popped up and said growing neuron. Um, that's basically um, what you're trying to do all game. Uh, you're trying to learn new abilities and um, evolve your brain, I guess. You'd call it? I, I'm not sure how to call it. Basically, you're trying to learn and evolve as a... as the species. Um, and depending on what actions you take, how often you repeat them, uh, you get new abilities and... Uh, new skills. So, still trying to look for the noise. Right over there, we see the... Okay, getting all the frames. The circles again, 
which we're gonna focus on. That's the baby. Now, new objective, join and comfort the lost child. We're just gonna jump on this vine or miss it. Land on the tree. <laughs> you can break bones and things like that in this game. It's fairly hard to do though. You have to jump from fairly high. Uh, so to comfort it, the key in this game, which took me forever to figure out, is listening for the noises. Whenever you interact with anything, you get an audio cue uh, that you have to pay attention to and then release the button, push a button, depending on what you do. So we start by hitting B, wait until the, the baby replies, hit B again, and you can actually hear that he's getting more and more uh, quiet and calm until he actually comes out of his hiding place and we can take him back. Aw, you tamed him. Passive tame monkey. I'm not sure that's what I'd call it. All right, so now we just want to go back to our settlement, which is up there behind the waterfall there. Uh, now we, we got a, we earned a communication skill, which doesn't really help out a lot in the beginning. Uh, the first thing I've learned to really do is when you're up at your settlement, you just want to explore everything around there. You don't even have to leave that area. That's what I was saying. You can swing off those vines with the big red leaves, uh, which also is actually kind of like Weird, you have to exactly aim right and hold down the right buttons. I'm s I haven't still I still haven't mastered that. Um yeah, now we Glory. Game! Game! Relax! Now we get a little cutscene, bring the baby monkey back home. We get to play with this brother or sister. I'm not sure which one's which. <laughs> That's They're adorable. so happy to see each other again. And now comes the sad part. The like you'll see in in the apes, you'll actually see like a different uh, shade in the fur. The gray ones, uh, which is the one on the right here, uh, are the elders. The black ones are the adults. And if you paid attention that uh, first uh, scene with the monkey with the baby on the back, ape with the baby on the back, sorry, uh, that was an elder. And you basically, you start out with a pair of elders, um, the male gets killed by the bird, and that was ba uh, his mate, kind of like, I guess, finding out that he died. Okay. Um, yeah, when we use our senses, we have to stop moving. Um, but yeah, so this is our uh, first settlement. And if you hit Y, you'll see there's lots and lots of things to explore. If we try to focus on anything right now by holding down Y, it'll just give us the question mark because we have no idea what it is. So you'll have to actually walk up to it, grab it, and if you hold down X, you can inspect items. And new items that you haven't discovered yet always have that like weird black smoke around them. It's fairly easy to tell uh, when something is new. We've now discovered rocks. So he's an adult monkey yes. that has never seen rocks. Listen. <laughs> just, I just I, wanted to see, like, in, in his home. He lives here. These rocks are new to him. Listen, stop. Well, I, I'm just, I just want to well, follow the, along. The rocks are new for you, okay? Okay. So if we hit RB, 
Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. R1, I think, for PlayStation controllers. I'm not sure what the buttons are for mouse and keyboard. Um, we can drop an item. Uh, yeah, if we've discovered them before, we can stockpile them. So if you see like the low white outline that just appeared and disappeared again around the rock like this, you hit RB, you can stockpile item. And with certain items, if you stockpile enough of them, you can build something. Uh, then here we have some dead branches that we can explore. Sniff out. And out of those dead branches, we can actually build something. Um, we're gonna... I'm, I haven't... So far, I haven't found that they're actually really useful. Um, but doing it enough gives you uh, new abilities. So I just keep doing it anyway. Um, if you stockpile, I think it's uh, three dead branches. Grab them and pile them up over here. You can... Ah, where did I put the other one? Um, here. Add to pile and grab another one. Is there a reason you brought it over to that specific spot? It's just because this is basically the only like accessible by land exit to our cave. Like I said, I ha so far, doesn't in my experience, doesn't matter where you build it. Uh, because I haven't found that they actually work. Uh, it might just be something that you have to refine at some later point uh, that I haven't gotten to. Or that I'm just building them completely wrong. Uh, if I am and anyone knows, let me know in the comments. So if we stockpile three of those branches... Uh, oh, we haven't... Never mind, we haven't gotten that ability yet. Uh, eventually you can build like barriers or barriers and stuff like that out of them. Okay, then we got something else new over here that we can inspect. So why don't you talk about um, the controls in the beginning and like, you know, explain how they how they come along and become a bit easier um, as you go it's, along. It's definitely the thing I was struggling with most in the entire game so far was just if you interact with items, if you interact with other apes or predators, you always have to listen for that tiny little noise, which can be hard to hear, especially if you're not, if you don't know what you're listening for. Um, and you have to get the timing exactly right with certain items. Uh, some items are easier to handle than others. In the beginning, the combat system, which you get to later, is... It's a pain in the butt. Um, but yeah, that's one big thing in the game. You have to get the timing exactly right. Um, most interactions, you have to hold down buttons. Uh, now we found our first, well, our second food actually. Uh, those horsetails right here, you can eat. Those red berries here, you can also eat if you uh, just hit A after you grab some. So we got a, an evolution feat, um, which are basically uh, achievements in the game. And once you get to the point where you actually evolve as the species, um, for all your evolution feats, you get years ahead of science. So basically, years you're evolving faster than what uh, our the stand is right now, how evolution actually went. So basically, you're an overachiever. Yeah, there's like... Um, for example, there's... Yeah. These diamonds up here that you can discover um, are landmarks that you can find and identify. Um, all of those count as an achievement. So every single diamond, if you get, uh, if you run past one, or when you do go out to explore, uh, you always want to try and 
go as close to those as possible and discover them. Um, I can actually. Do so, that would one. you recommend trying to learn all these, like all of these things here before you move on? Yes, so. I definitely go around. I explore all of the uh, the options here. Like, pick up everything that you can pick up uh, at first. Uh, inspect this. Um, pick up every single item. A stockpile item. See if you can build out of them. Um, when you get to the point we're not quite there yet, um, you can alter items. Uh, what are we still missing? What is, what is altering items? Mean? Um, basically you can, you use, for example, uh, a dead branch and uh, strip the, the like tinier branches off it. You use a stick and a rock and turn the stick into a pointed stick. Um, there's all kinds of different options. You smash rocks together and turn them into different kinds of tools. Um, these over here, I still haven't figured out how exactly you explore them. These little like thorn bush kind of things. Uh, I've played, I think, 10 hours so far in my uh, Act, uh, like recent playthrough and I still have not figured out how to explore these so if anyone has any idea I'm happy to take the help Do you have to hit them with a, a stick or something no something? I uh, you can't hit them I'm not I'm not sure if I need like a different tool or like a cert an exact specific certain ability or something to explore them I haven't figured that out so, what are the most important things to make sure you get in the base camp? Like, there's things that like heal you, right? And things yeah, that, there's like, um, so certain your plants. Legs and... Certain plants, when you eat them, or certain foods, uh, give you buffs. Like, if we eat the horsetail right now, for example, uh, the horsetail gives you uh, protection from breaking your bones. So you'll see the little in the bottom left. You'll see the uh, little like shield. Uh, with a broken bone on top of it, and you'll see a blue line behind it. That blue line is the duration, how long that lasts, and you you can see it like uh, continuously going down. You can uh, add to the timer if you eat more of it. You, you can see the timer going up. Um, Are the other monkeys doing it because you're doing it? Yes. Oh, that so that you're is actually. Your tribe, so yes. Learning. You're learning as a tribe. And that's actually another important thing. Uh, once you start going out to explore, you always have to come back home because your monkeys or your, your tribe, the other apes, only mimic you. They don't drink, they don't sleep, or they don't eat while you're not around. So you have to keep coming back, make sure they're fed, make sure they have water, make sure they get sleep, so they all survive. Um, if you like, with enough abilities, you can make them do certain things by themselves. But it's like definitely in the beginning, uh, you have to keep coming back and making sure they're taken care of. Uh, now you can overeat, right? You can, um, you can eat. Um, there's like a, I think it's a percentage chance uh, when you eat certain foods that um, you get like spoiled berries or something. And if you uh, start getting into eating meat um, and your body doesn't have the tolerance for it yet, you can't eat much of it. Um, that gives you negative buffs, which like makes your screen go all blurry and uh, makes it look all weird. And then your monkeys also start moving slower. They're moving. It, it almost looks like they're drunk. The way they're moving. Drunken monkeys. That sounds amazing. Um. But yeah, that's also like all the negative. Well, most of the negative buffs also have, like the protective buffs, uh, a timer. 
that uh, will go down. Okay. We've discovered our sleeping spots. There's in the in the base camp you start at it. There's two sleeping spots. This one here and this one here. Uh, here you can drop off your children or if you hold down A, that's another thing to figure out. You have to hold down the A button while you're sleeping. Uh, as soon as you let go, the monkeys wake up. And in here you also have the, evol uh, the, the evolution option, which is basically your brain and all the things you have learned so far. So far we have like zero abilities unlocked. Um, you start out with these four here, the, the central ones, just the basics, communication, uh, this is intelligence, just, uh, uh, then here the senses, which is the, the smelling and the hearing, and up here is, uh, motricity, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, uh, which is basically you interacting with any object, any other animal, those things. So you have to uh, keep interacting with items, keep repeating actions to get those abilities. And then you have in the middle here this glowing circle, which is your, I think it's called neuronal energy. Um, and every time you want to learn one of these abilities you can unlock, you use up neuronal energy. Um, one important thing to remember is that you only build up the, this neuronal energy if you're actually carrying around or are around uh, children. So, for example, either you carry one or two babies around with you while you're exploring, or another thing that I've started doing actually because I've found it to be safer is I leave the children at the base camp actually I uh, go around on my own and explore, usually on a male, or as a male monkey, ape, sorry, ape, they're called apes, god damn it. Um, and then when you get back to base camp, um, explore around their repeat crafting actions and things like that, um, to build up your energy afterwards, um, which does not end endanger the babies and just makes things a lot less stressful for you okay so what else do we have oh there's if we climb this tree here behind this little dead tree so uh trees and walls the monkeys act uh, automatically grab we just walk up to it or jump at it and it'll actually grab it now we've got coconuts Climb down this tree. I'm down. Go. Found a coconut. I love the like startled look on his face every time he looks at something. Yeah. Now we've discovered cocos. We can't eat them yet. Um we need to figure out some other things before we can uh, make them actually edible. Um, Is it possible to do one of those diamonds quickly? Uh, yeah, we can do this one right here. Um, so once you get to those diamonds, you hit, basically you hold down Y when it says discover, let go of the button and it gives you a little cutscene. Um, for those of you that have played Assassin's Creed, or have read that the this game is made by the creators of the first Assassin's Creed games. This scene might remind you of something. That totally remind. Yeah, it looks like it's um, it's the synchronization basically from Assassin's Creed. Um, the game is made by the same creators, so it like it definitely reminds you of that. Um. This one at the first base camp is actually kind of like a, a little bit of a key scene. Um, you see that meteor shooting past. Uh, then all of your monkeys start going nuts. And... Or they start going bananas. They, 
Ah, oh, no. Hmm, that, that's worse than murder. Um, you come back to them being on top of the tree, the big tree, and you see the smoke over there, which is from that uh, meteor that you just saw striping or like, shooting past. Uh, now we've got another evolution feat. We just we discovered the jungle part here. Um, now can you go? Can you explore that meteor eventually? Yes, you can. Thing? You can get. You can go there. You find a little rock. Um, but I think for right now, we're gonna ju jump down here. Ah! Oh God! Oh Jenny! <laughs> this actually did not break our bones. That's that, what I'm saying. Oh, that didn't break your you bones? You can jump fairly high without breaking bones. I thought that red mark was you breaking no, your bone. No, that was me taking a hit. And you can see in the middle, that circle uh, is slightly down. You see like the red edge, which means that my health took a hit. Oh, that's your health meter. The um, it's The red circle is your life expectancy. Then there's a, if you keep running around, you'll see a yellow circle, which is your health. And then you see the green circle here, which is your stamina. And as you run around, your stam decreases. And eventually, when you go around, explore enough and uh, encounter predators, get eaten a lot or beat up, uh, you'll see that your life expectancy goes way down. So eventually your monkeys can die and will die. But I think that's a, actually a good point to stop, stop for now, uh, for a first look at the game. And if you guys like it, and if you guys wanna see more, let us know in the comments. Um, definitely smash that like button. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for, for watching. And how do you say? Uh, for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe in German. Go! That? You want me to say that in German? Yep. Um, uh, für more... Wait. Damn it! Now I'm starting <laughs> to mix! Uh, für mehr uh, Videospiele... Videospiel... I'm not sure how to say awesomeness in German. Say greatness or... Uh, I don't know. For more video spiel uh, videos. Uh, wait, oh, what did she say? <laughs> God damn it, brain! Um, just don't forget to subscribe. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching Jenny Play Ancestors. I just wanted to say that if you plan on buying this game, I actually have a code. So if you want to help support Cheese and Jenny, use my code to pick up this game. The code will be in the description down below. I love you guys. See you guys next time. Cheese out.